I was very pleased that Bell and I were able to get through this course the very first time with no faults. It did take us 42 seconds, which might have put us over course time. After this jump, I fail to show collection and Bell goes wider than she needs to. My fear about not being able to beat her to the end of the dog walk was really unfounded. I'm a little late taking off for the teeter, and then I just leave Belle on her own, and she thinks the next obstacle is the weave. She makes a nice weave entry. And here I get out of position, plus I'm a little late for that front cross, causing Belle extra steps and a hard turn. And the ending, I was very surprised that I was able to catch up to her. Now these are the things I would like to improve on when we try this run again. And indeed, I was able to cut, couldn't shave three seconds off, but I shaved almost two off. And we had a false start. I think if I could have run a little faster, we might have shaved off a little more time. This time I make sure to collect and wrap Jack Bell around that endless jump. Hey, catch her attention. Make a run down the uh, dog walk. Do a serpentine into the tunnel. This time I wait to see her and I start running right away. Make sure uh, Serp arm to catch her attention so she doesn't take an extra stride. I made sure she entered the weaves that time. And this time I'm on the right line, but I'm still late with that front cross. And now I'm so winded I couldn't do anything about managing the ramp before the dog uh, apron. This was our first run. It's five strides between jumps and one nasty hard turn for Belle. Today, with the collection and the cue, uh, timely cue, it's four strides and no real harsh turn. Yesterday I waited and waited and didn't take off until Belle was all the way out of the tunnel. And then I relied on a shoulder pull to turn her to the jump, and she went way wide, accelerating toward the weave poles. Today, as soon as I see her nose, I take off for the teeter. And I was a little deeper to the tunnel, so I had the room to run. And I make sure that I give her a signal that we're turning off the teeter and not going to the weaves. And I cut that path to the jump by one stride. This is yesterday. I'm way offline. I'm way late and causes a very hard turn and five strides. Today, I get to the correct line, but I'm still late, so we get the hard turn and four strides.